Hey everyone, I am Jackie Abalie. So, and I am Diana Elizabeth Abalos. And I'm Dave Herald Espanyoso. And I am Jono Vince Cabonilas. And I'm Ian Kayan Perdilio. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of appraisals. Yep, those moments where your work, performance, or even your belongings get evaluated. So, let's unpack this process and see what it's all about. Performance appraisal, also known as performance review or evaluation, is a systematic process of assessing an employee's job performance and productivity within an organization. The primary purpose of performance appraisal is to provide feedback to employees regarding their work performance, identify areas of improvement, set goals for future development, and make decisions about compensations, promotions, or other career related matters. Goal setting. Establishing clear objectives and performance standards that employees are expected to meet. Regular feedback. Providing ongoing feedback and coaching throughout the performance for you to help employees understand how well they are meeting expectations. Hey, Diana, can you please explain the next topic? So my topic is evaluation criteria. Um, defining the criteria against which employee performance will be measured. This may include factors such as quality of work, productivity, communication skills, teamwork, and company values. The second one is performance review meet meetings. Conducting formal meetings between managers and employees to discuss performance, review accomplishment, provide feedback, set goals, the future. I mean set goal goals for the future. Thank you. So, Dave. Thank you, Diane. And this night, I will give the two components of performance appraisal. First is the documentation. What is documentation? Documentation is maintaining records or of performance assessments, including notes from feedback sessions, goals, settings, documents, and any performance a problem plans. Second, development plans. What is development plans? Development plans is identifying opportunities for employee development and career advancement based on performance appraisal research. And that's all. Performance ratings, assigning, their, assigning ratings or scores to employment based on their performance relative to establish the criteria. These ratings may vary depending on the organization performance management system and may be numerical scale, of, for example, scale of one to five or a, quality, a qualitative exceed expectation or meets expectations or needs the improvement. And uh, rewarding recognition link the performance appraisal to outcomes to reward such as salary increase, bonuses, promotions, or other forms of recognition. And that's all. Kyle, you're next. So thank you, Vince. Uh, so let's start with our discussions. So effective performance appraisals requires careful planning and clear communication and a commitment to fairness and transparency. It should be seen as collaborative process between managers and employees. So it focus on continuous improvement and development. Additionally, it's essential for organizations to ensure that performance appraisal systems are free from bias and discrimination and they align with the company's overall goals and values. 
So that's all for today. Thank you.